Hi everybody, this is Todd with our daily video. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope your week went well. Um, it's uh, the end of the week today and we've had a lot of very um, interesting news that's come out, I guess, or a volume of news. Um, we had anything from the interest rates that came out, the presidential debate we had today being the uh, all-important non-farm payroll numbers that came out better than anticipated. The unemployment rate dropped to 7.8%. Forecast was for it to go to up to 8.2%. So um, I'm sure that the uh, um, Obama administration is enjoying that uh, number because there's been so much talk about employment and so much, um, I don't know, uh, so much discussion about how uh, important jobs are that this is a positive move for that. You know, we're seeing... Um, the payroll number, the employment, unemployment rate go down, which uh, is good because the economy uh, without having jobs is not going to, to, uh, to grow. Now, the number of added jobs is probably not as good as what we'd like to see it. And so there's, you know, we, there's a lot that we can look into what this number actually means. But um, it'll be interesting to hear the takes that each of the uh, candidates have on how this number you know is is looked at and so um that's kind of the big news for the week is the um employment numbers now we're going to just talk um in regards of the simple trading method today um not in terms of any specific instrument here but or time frame um or price we're going to talk just about movement and as you know, when we're dealing with the simple trading method, it should be that simple. And we should be able to trade it simply and follow the method described to make sure that we're following the rules. So the first thing that we look at is the trend. How do we determine the trend? Well, we can look at the price. Where is the price going? Is it going up or is it going down? In this instance, you can see that the, mo the momentum is moving up. Second thing that we want to look for is support Or resistance in this case we'll stick with support since it's trending up how do we determine support well we've got to look at price we've got to see where our trend lines are de developing where our price action is having a difficult time moving above and beyond third thing in this instance we need to look at is the highest high of the last three in order to do that what do we have to look at Again, we have to look at price. So, the number one thing in the simple trading method is dun, da, 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 price. We've got to be able to read the price, see where the trend is, identify support or resistance, and look at our entry based off the highest high or the last three, or in a downtrend, the lowest low. In the last three. Now, let's take a look at what happened here. We're going to identify some support in this area. Add support in this area. So, put S here for support. The trend we already said is moving up. What 
we really want to see is we want to see this price retrace or pull back toward support and then enter in as the price goes above the H, H or the highest high of the last three. Stops are going to be below the most recent low somewhere. So stop loss. Target, <coughs> excuse me, we can look at past highs or whatever and, and look for some type of a big profit. And that's how we want to manage this. We want to be able to understand how to do that and how to make adjustments and all that good stuff. But that's the basic concept of the simple trading method. Looking at the trend, pulling back to support, and getting in as it moves above the highest high of the last three. And if we can do that and manage our risk, one to two percent risk, we're going to keep ourselves out of trouble and in trades that uh, are moving in the right direction. So if you have questions about that or anything else, feel free to let me know. If not, have a great weekend. Take some time to review how your trading went this week. Um, if you've got positions, make sure that you uh, have your stops set appropriately. And uh, you know, take some time to really get this down and these rules down. So with that, we'll wrap it up for the week. Have a great weekend and we'll be back uh, Monday um, to, or we'll be back uh, yeah, Monday to see uh, what is happening above and beyond today. So until then, have a great one and we'll talk to you soon.